Hey, what's uh, what's going on, everybody? Hey, I just wanted to drop a little video on an early game. Uh, we automated farm for Craftopia. Early game before you get into the higher stages of automation. This um, this will get you going where you it's not so labor intensive, and it's pretty easy. Um. You'll need a conveyor belt, some crop plots, some wheat farms, the wheat fields, a sprinkler, and depending how you want to do it, a reaping machine. Uh, super easy, not very hard to make, and let's get into it. All right, so you will need you will need some things to make like the reaping machine it's, and the sprinkler. The sprinkler is like uh, like forty buckets of water and some other stuff. It's not a whole heck of a lot. Um, a little bit at the beginning, but not a whole heck of a lot. Um, and some thatch and wood to make your wheat fields. But this is this is early game, so you don't have to. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of time manually doing this. Uh -uh. Um, when I first laid it out, if you saw some of my earlier videos, go check out the Craftopia series. I had 12 wheat fields out here and, you know, it took me about 10 or 15 minutes, about 10 minutes or so to go through there, harvest all the stuff up, and then, uh, water it. And then I got the sprinkler system opened up, and I got um, the Reaper opened, and the technologies. So we got that. So this is um, we're talking early game before we get um, into a lot of other like um, a lot of other technologies, such as your um, well, they I can't think of what it's called. Your absorbers and your fans and stuff like that, your droppers. So, uh, um, here's your absorber. Here's your droppers. Um, electric fan. So before you don't even need this stuff. Really, right. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, and I'm gonna set up. Three walls. Um, I've tried to do the fourth one, but the way it the way it comes off the conveyor once you're to conveyor going into the little box that you made. Then I'm gonna put a floor up here so I can stand. Um, I did try a wall here. I'll show you. a wall here but when I put the uh when I drop my crop flood on there you get stuck on the wall so we want it to fall in like that so what we're gonna do is and that I, I believe you can stack up the 40 in a stack um I've been doing it with 12, and it works except for one thing. The lower levels, about the the, the bottom few levels, it takes a while for the, the when they're harvested to come to the top. Um, so I'm going to try it in half it. We're going to drop one, two, three, four... Uh, and then we're going to switch this over. I'll pick up the bear. I'll pick this up. I'm gonna, I, all I'm going to do 
to switch them around. I put my conveyor back down. Now the reason I have these walls here is that a lumber strike. It's just to combine the wheat when it gets when it gets shredded. From going all over the place. That's all I have them. That way it doesn't spread all over, it keeps it kind of nice and combined. one up and we're doing the same thing over here uh with our with our other plot don't need that anymore don't need this anymore hey what are you Now the way it sets it out, it's a little far. You can see on on here, it's a little too far out. You can try and get these guys here. All right, I'm gonna put a sprinkler. In the middle here. I've tried the reapers in here to get both plots, but they really don't reach very well. Uh, we can try it. Let's see if it works. And just wait until it grows and see what it is. So I'll see you when those when they grow up. Yeah, we're back. And yeah, it only harvested one. I kind of figured that. Um, I tried it in several times and it didn't work very well. So, uh, your best way is gonna put if you're gonna do two like this, put the re just go ahead and put the reapers in the middle of your of your um plots. I went ahead and made another one. Doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. And it's not going to let me uh, do that. Because, um... So, put a reaper down. There, all so the sprinkler will cover all both of those. It'll cover quite a, quite a big area, uh, so you can probably expand this even more if you wanted to, um, like that. And then if you don't, you have to kind of have to watch out for these reapers on a timer, so they just pop out every once in a while. Um, if you if we can. We can snap this down in here. Close enough down there, they're still going to get water, right? But, okay, there that side grew up. All six, all six of those crop plots have grown. And they're coming out the top right now when that reaper comes up and spins it's gonna it's gonna harvest that it's gonna cut it all down they're on the timer so
Here it goes. There it goes. Harvest it off. All you have to do is walk over here and pick them all up. Now there's some further down in the stack that you may not be able to pick up from right here, but walk around the edges. You can get them. There you go. Early game. Early game. Um, automated weed farm. Semi. We'll call it semi-automated. Um, it'll keep it'll keep doing this as long as you're in in the area. Um, and then you just run by here and pick them up every once in a while. You don't have to sit there and hand water or hand. Um, and this is why you want the wall on here, by the way. This is why you want a wall on here. Now, you could do this. Let me eat the food. Starving. The way this is set up, it's kicking everything out. You could put some conveyors here and bring it down a little further, but um, there's nothing really that you can do to pick these things up yet. At this, if you don't have the absorbers. So, wanted to show you that, give you a little, give you a little heads up with that, and um, hopefully that helps you get a little ahead of the game um, when it comes to making um, your uh, your bioethanol, your biofuel. So you don't have to sit there and babysit it all the time and run around or waste a lot of a lot of space on a huge farm. Conveyor belts, stack them up, um, put everything on top, and then that is yeah. Super simple, super small. Um, like I said, you could do this in a stack of twelve, I believe, a stack of forty, but um picking them up without without any automation, without an absorber or something like that. You'll probably miss a lot. It does create, if you don't pick up after two or three harvests, it does create some lag in the area with all those particles sitting there. Um, so run through there, pick them all up. And you're good to go. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, if you don't mind, If you help, if you thought this was helpful, leave a comment, um, like the video, subscribe, uh, look out for some more tutorials that'll be coming your way, um, and we're doing a, a whole playthrough. Check out the playlist on Craftopia. I'm very new; this is my first playthrough, so forgive me if I'm going too slow or something like that. Um, and I do stream daily on Twitch, twitch.tv slash airframe. Come and come and chat with us on, on the live streams. Would we'll, Love to see you there. Let us know that you come from YouTube. That way we know where you came from. Um, until then, you have a great rest of your day. And again, like, subscribe, get notified when I drop a new video.